It's moving day. We are going to the storage unit to meet with the movers right now. Our schedule has changed so many times with this move. Let me tell you the latest. So what we were planning on doing as of yesterday is we had a U-Haul booked for yesterday. We were gonna pick up the U-Haul that Alex was gonna pull to Nashville and we were gonna pack it with all of the stuff that we've been living with all summer. So all of our clothes, our work stuff, James's stuff, the stuff that's actually at our house that we've been using to like live over the last few months. And then we were gonna have the movers do the storage unit with like the furniture and like the stuff we haven't been using, like our kitchen stuff and all that. But what ended up happening was yesterday when Alex went to pick up his U-Haul, no one was there. They no stood us up. No one answered the door. He had a confirmed booked U-Haul and he called them a million times. Literally, he got stood up. Like no one was there. He could not get the U-Haul. He even called another place and they were weirdly closed. Now, mind you, this was like a Wednesday at noon. Yeah. So why would all these places be closed? We have no idea. That's unfortunate because what that's gonna mean is that now we're gonna have to do moving in two parts, which at this point we've done so many trips down to Nashville to see this house and like do all of the closing stuff that uh, what is one more trip, right? One more trip. So what we're doing is today we're meeting with the movers and we're gonna go down to Nashville with the movers. We're gonna unpack and then we're just gonna stay one night and then we're gonna come back to Kingsport we're gonna rent a U-Haul. Hopefully we'll be able to get one from somewhere. And we're going to pack it with all of our stuff and then we're gonna do like a moving part two. So, I mean, it's not ideal. It's not like what we had wanted to do and scheduled out, but this is what it is. It's fine. We're trying to be very go with the flow. Moving is always very stressful and chaotic. You guys, this is also gonna be slightly complicated by the fact that this is not just like a typical mover showing up at a storage unit. Oop, something fell back there. Everything's gonna go super easy this is actually going to be pretty chaotic because all of blair's stuff is mixed in with all of our stuff because we brought her stuff on our trucks from california so it's all in like one big unit all mixed together we're gonna have to individually point at things for these movers which i feel is just going to be like very stressful and it's probably going to take a long time but it is what it is we don't have enough we only rented one truck for this move we don't have enough space on the truck to take everything, nor do we want to take all of Blair's stuff like to our house in Nashville. It's going to take a little bit longer, but the movers are aware of this. Like I explained everything on the phone. There's going to be four guys and they're, they're just like, yeah, we'll do whatever you need to do. They're really nice. So yeah, it might take all day, but we're going to get this done and it's going to be worth it. Does anyone else feel like when they're drinking out of a juice pouch like this, that when they put the straw in, they have to blow out first in case the aluminum or like the foil packet like got in the straw. Is it just me? Just you. Here it is. Alex is about to come unlock this baby. This is chaos. I don't even know how we're gonna tell what to take. There is so much stuff in here, you guys. This is the biggest unit they offered. And there, we also have another unit yeah, over the wall. But I've picked through this one a lot. Blair's stuff is in here too though, so that's part of it. But I mean, yeah, yeah. this is a whole house worth of stuff in a storage unit. This is coming along. It's actually going a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to. This is all the stuff that's going. This is the truck. This is all stuff that's not going or we're taking it like separately. And then this is a bunch of like sticker stuff. Everything on this wall is not going. This is a lot of Blair stuff. And then most of the things along this wall also is not going. That's all Blair stuff. This pile here is the only one we haven't gone through yet. So we've actually like done pretty good damage in this big one. And then we have the little unit right next door, which we'll have to do next. But we're making really good time. This is our piano. This unit is almost empty. And then this one. Everything is pretty much out of here. This is all Blair stuff. But like, look at all this stuff that got cleared out because this thing was packed. So, doing good. The plan has changed yet again, which does not surprise me at all. And it's actually for the better this time. I am so happy, you guys. So the movers we're working with, which are literally the best movers I've ever worked with. If you are planning on moving anytime soon, they are Bennett's Moving Services out of Elizabethton. We were explaining to them how we wanted to take a U-Haul and the U-Haul place was closed and now we were gonna have to do the move in two parts. And they were like, we can, <laughs> look at Velvet. Velvet. 
See, I was watching. You were watching, dog. Yes. They were like, we can totally get a second truck and drive it down. There was gonna be a team of four people driving down anyway. They were like, we don't mind driving a second truck. The original plan is basically back on. We're going to be going down tonight and staying and like being in our house. And I'm just so excited that we don't have to come back for a part two of the move. It's just gonna, this is just like so much easier. And I'm just so happy it worked out. These are different sunglasses than the ones that I was wearing earlier today, by the way. Mom took those ones because she was driving me to lunch and she needed sunglasses and then she she kept them on and then I found these ones and put them on. Do you want to see Velvi? Velveeta. Hi, baby. I'm waiting for the moving truck to get here. They are on their way, but I'm just waiting in the driveway for them. So this is the second truck that we got last minute and they're finishing it up. This is the last little bit that they have and then we're done. I am on the RV and we are finally done. It is 10 o'clock at night. The movers left about four hours ago and then we spent the last four hours having dinner and finishing packing up all of our stuff, mostly Alex's music gear. And I gave James a bath. I made sure to put fresh sheets and bedding on the bed here in the RV. We're gonna sleep in the RV tonight because we're actually, instead of leaving tonight, night we're gonna leave at like four o'clock in the morning we will still get there before the movers do and that way Alex can get some sleep because it has been a very long day so even though we're in my parents driveway we're gonna sleep in the RV just so we're ready to go and we know that if we try to sleep inside like it will take us hours to get on the road tomorrow it just will like there will be like a million things we're trying to take on last minute it's just easier to have us completely ready to go on the RV where Alex can just pull out at four o'clock in the morning and we can be on our way. So that is the plan. Alex is bringing the last few loads on. The cats are already on the RV. James is in the house just until we're like ready to go to sleep. He's with my mom right now just snuggling. He'll go right to sleep because it's like past his bedtime already. So as soon as he gets in this bed, he's gonna go to sleep. Um, we wanna be done with everything so we're not like making a bunch of noise in the RV. I need to change into my PJs. I already took all my makeup off and um, I look really tired. And yeah, and so I will see you guys tomorrow with the other side, the unloading in Nashville, which is definitely the exciting part. So see you guys tomorrow, goodbye. And then what happened? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you a parcel tongue? Are you I think you might be a parcel tongue. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Kicking your mama. Don't do it. You guys, we're here. It's day two. It's been a very long morning. And Auntie Bear's here. Auntie Bear's here. We got on the road at like 5 a.m. and we just got here. And I just filmed an empty house tour. And I'm very excited that I got to do that because I was super stressed that I wasn't going to be able to do that. Checking out our new backyard. James. Hi, baby, are you so excited? You have a new yard? Wow. What do you have? Don't fall back. Okay. Be careful. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 We are a few hours into unloading while well, the movers are unloading. We're telling them where to put everything. The house is chaos right now. Auntie Bear's right here. Hi. And I'll just show you guys what's going on. So we have some like beds. This is like our master bed. We have like one of those adjustable bases. They're gonna put that together. This front room just has like all of our artwork that's still like artwork and mirrors. And we might not use everything, but we wanted to bring everything so we could like select pieces for around the house. And then we'll figure out what to do with the pieces we're not using. We have all of our like bedding and linens and pillows for the entire house here. We have a rug here that we may or may not use. Rugs were another thing, we just brought everything. And by everything, I mean everything I've 
purchased and everything Blair's ever used because she doesn't have a house right now and she doesn't mind. We share furniture. I actually take a lot of her leftovers. And then this room just has like this chase that used to be Blair's that I love. This is where the piano is gonna go, but it hasn't been unloaded yet. James is getting really tired, so he's kind of fussy, but. And then we just have some like bins coming in. I mean, the house looks like chaos right now. The guys are done with the first truck. So there's just a bunch of stuff right here in the front, like our king mattress that's going in our bedroom. This is a big credenza that's gonna go up to the bonus room. These are like other pieces of beds and like another bed for the guest room. And then most of this looks probably exactly like it looked last time you guys saw it. Where's it going? Show us where, okay. it, show us where you want it. Oh, we got, once it gets up there, it's easy to say, let's French doors. We can go on the end, it's but the barn door, so. is it going to clear that light? Yeah, you ready? On you. Ah. Oh, Good? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Bring it on. I don't know why I'm responding to that. Wow! Oh! Bubba has arrived in He's the house get down. for the first time. I got this one in my arms. This is your new house, Bubba. Bubba. You will grow to love it, Bubba. Bubba, you live here now, Bubba. Happy gentle to a Bubba. Gentle to a Bubba. You can go anywhere you want to, Bubba. <laughs> this one, though, James. <laughs> Be nice to Bubba. It's the morning of day three. Well, I mean like we moved in yesterday. Day three of this vlog, I guess. I didn't say bye yesterday because we just like went to sleep. We were so tired, but I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here and I will pick up like in a few minutes with the next vlog. So this is what the chaos looks like. And today we are gonna tackle some of this madness. So let's see how much we can get done but that will be in the next vlog. So until then, goodbye.